This is an emergency broadcast. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org, and I have never released an emergency broadcast. Please turn off all distractions and pay attention. This is extraordinary, very unsettling, very disturbing, horrific, terrifying news. Fukushima radiation was measured on BC shore for the first time, trace cesium, cesium, now not cesium-137, but he put cesium. The US EPA says cesium is a metal that may be stable, non-radioactive, or unstable, radioactive. The most common radioactive form of cesium is 137, not cesium. Cesium is not radioactive, but cesium-137 that went through a chain reaction is, let's go back, this is extraordinary, folks. Trust me. Stay, stay with me. Trace cesium detected by levels far below limits for safe, safe drinking water. Well, let's go look at safe drinking water for Canada. This is Canada, Health Canada. And you'll find links below the video. And this is very unsettling. The guidelines for Canadian drinking water quality. By the way, the date is the 12th of April 2015, just in case people are thinking this is an old video. And so I'm on the site, the links are below it, natural and artificial radionuclides. So natural, you can see 0.2 of a becquerel a liter, 0.5, half a becquerel per liter. Tritium, which is man-made, strontium-90 is man-made, iodine-131 is man-made, cesium-137 is man-made, they're under artificial, they call them artificial, not man-made, but they're man-made in a chain reaction. 7,000 becquels a liter, a liter. Back to Ken Buesler for a second. Now what he found was 1.4 to 5 point becquels per cubic meter, so we're gonna convert everything over to cubic meter that we just looked at. And so that's 7 million becquels, a man-made tritium, now per cubic meter in our drinking water is an acceptable standard according to let me get rid of that, according to Health Canada and the guidelines for Health Canada now that's Health Canada's website today the 12th of April 2015 and they're saying tritium now is an acceptable standard up to 7,000 becquels a liter uh, strontium is 5 so that when I convert that over to cubic meters which is the size of your bathtub you put your children in it's 5,000 becquels of strontium, 5,000 becquels being soaked into your skin, 6,000 becquels of iodine is acceptable. That's an ongoing constant chain reaction, but there's 10 times more iodine-131, 10 times more iodine-132, 30 times more iodine-133, 31 times more iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life they didn't put in there for you. Cesium-137, there's 90 times more strontium. Not, not half as, as much cesium. Strontium is, is 100 times more in that chain reaction. It's produced in a ratio of 100 to 1 cesiums, 137. So what we're looking at, and I'm just rushing this up because this truly is an emergency, and this is not acceptable. And so it's, it, now we have to move on this. Now we need all of our institutions to treat this because we have an omission from our governments. I want to bring you back up to speed on cesium, just so you can really show that. Where does cesium come from? 137. Um, hang on. Was it right here? Exposure to cesium is the better way to look at it. Cesium-137 environment came from a variety of sources. This is the man-made stuff, the 137 we're talking about. The largest single source was fallout from atmospheric nuclear weapons tests in the 50s and 60s, which dispersed and deposited cesium-137 worldwide. Now, this is the most important part I want you to understand. However, much of the cesium from the testing has now decayed into its daughters. Every 30 years, it decays by 50%. So that means they're saying there's no cesium in the environment. So why do we increase it because of Fukushima? Three melted, 100% melted reactors in Japan. The jet streams come right to Canada. The ocean currents come right to Canada. I'm in mass on the expedition for life. We're looking for damage on the Pacific coastline. And there's mass that is regulated year long by warm waters from Japan. And that's why you see the artificial radionuclides now included, but they never bother telling you about it. They never even bother trying to do something about it. They never even bother trying to deal with it. And they roll their people like Ken Buesler, 
who says the danger is in the dose. One banana is 12 becquerels of potassium 40, and you need to eat 20 million bananas. That's 5 million pounds, four bananas to the pound. 5 million pounds, you got to put a plug up your butt and eat 5 million pounds before you can get a go-get dose of radiation concern. So they just mock you, to get, and they never even put the word A in there, or the letter A in there, A dose of radiation concern. But you only need a single dose of the cesium. And so, how do people come in contact? Everyone is exposed to a very small amount of cesium in the soil and water as a result of atmospheric fallout, even though earlier they said that most of that is gone. And people may be exposed from contaminated site, and it gets in the body with food and water, and water, water gets in, in your body with food and water. And so now the, the Canada's water is acceptable to have cesium in your water, iodine, strontium 90s. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable, period. But under these numbers, this is outrageous. This is mass murder. It takes five, six, seven years to, to kill off a large portion of us. And that's what's going to happen because they never bothered warning us about it. They never bothered trying to go to work and come up with solutions for it. They never bothered informing us. And now look what they got done to us. Whoever done this, whoever said, okay, we're going to do this, needs to be dealt with it publicly in our medias. Our media, you know, how can we trust them? Because CBC never bothered asking the question of why. They say Canada allows up to 10,000 becquerels of cesium-137 per cubic meter in drinking water, and they're right. Trace cesium detected by levels far below limits for safe drinking water because someone jacked our drinking limits and included artificial radionuclides. Do you got any idea what they're, what's really happening here? Do you got any idea how dangerous we, this game they're playing with us right now is? There's no way out of this. They're intending on going down this road where they deceive everybody and once I see this, I realize they can't hide this anymore. They got it out in public to try to make it normalize it so they can refer to it. And people who don't know any better will go, okay, well, they wouldn't have it on their site unless it was okay. It's an artificial, man-made, nothing on this planet has ever come in contact with it. That's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear waste sites. This is unimaginable, unimaginable. And you roll it and tell you that you... There's more natural sources are larger than man-made sources. No, they're not. They're not. See the natural sources over here, natural radionuclides, lead. That's just so we move from a table. And radium is 0.5 becquel a liter. These things are 10 becquels a liter, 6 becquels a liter, 5 becquels. There are many times 7,000 becquels a liter man-made versus all of them still don't even have a comparison. And so we need to deal with it. That's, the, that's enough. That's enough of this guy right here, enough of the Jay Collins coming out and trying to acclimate everybody and turn everybody against people like myself who are only out there trying to understand what kind of trouble we're in and try to raise a, a debate and have a conversation and put our academics to work on it. We produce 4,000 plus, three a minute, academic peer review studies every day and we are going to flip them on this technology and come up with solutions. And what these people are doing have to be dealt with coming up in the near future. But right now we gotta deal with this. We have to route this out. We have to understand what the hell is going on here. How could anybody do this without informing Canadians that now we're all gonna be drinking radioactive materials and no one's even gonna to try to change that equation. And we're talking about frightening numbers now per cubic meter where you put your children in a bathtub with seven million Beckwolds. But hey, don't worry about it. Ken can't find it, right? He can't find it anywhere. Oh, I'm only finding, you know, 1.4 to 5 becquels per cubic meter, but it's okay because we got tons of it in our drinking water. Okay, you think I've been angry up to now. You have no idea what this just done to me. You just flipped a switch. Make no mistake about it. Game over for you guys. And let me tell you something. Nuclear is dead. Your pensions are gone. Your credibility and everything about you now is destroyed and will be shut from our history books, if there is a history book. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Look what you continue to do. And you only send the homeless into Fukushima. You don't send in Harvard. You don't give in MIT and Stanford and Oxford. None of the nuclear scientists go to Fukushima, just homeless people. And they ain't gonna let that stop. The numbers are gonna get bigger every year. Next year it'll be 14,000 Beckwolds of tritium is 
comfortable in a liter of water. I'm not comfortable with that. Nobody on the planet is comfortable with that. And that's why you had to roll out the mouthpieces like Ken Buesler to trick everybody. Game over for you fuckers. I can guarantee you. People, push this out there. That's the end of this. We got them. That's the admittance. That's the mittens. The link's below. Go over and read what the EPA says about CCM. And you'll understand if you don't understand by now. And you're new to this, you'll understand what that means. Everything they say here, it's dangerous for you. And here's Canada. Oh, it's okay. Put it in your drinking water. I'm not okay with that. Hugs for everybody. It's a horrible day for everybody today. Trust me. This is just unimaginable. The worst news imaginable. This entire planet. This is like a meteorite coming at us. And we're going to deal with it. And dim. Take care.